as well as being consistent with the dose, we need to be consistent with the amount of liquid that goes in our cup because if we have different amounts of liquid, we have different flavors and different levels of strength. So there are two ways we can do it. Again, by eye in a shot glass or in a cup, we can put on scales and use our eyes to uh, look at the numbers. So let's do it. So I can either have a look at it with my eyes in the shot glass or I have a number from the scale. I find it much more reliable to have the number because when the coffee is very fresh, there is lots of gas and there is a big crema. When the coffee is not so fresh, there is less crema, less gas, and it's smaller in the cup. Also, when I'm looking at things by eye, it is more subjective, it's more my point of view, but when I'm looking at something on the scales, there's a specific number for me. Once I have the weight of the dose and the weight of the coffee, then I know the relationship between the two. So if there's a lot of coffee and a little bit of water, then it's gonna be a ristretto, very strong. Uh, if there's less coffee and more water is going to be a longo, so uh, much weaker and very different flavour. So when a barista asks me about their coffee, one of the first questions I ask them is, what is your dose and how much liquid is coming out? I hope you know.